Podcast. This episode is uh, part two of episode three. Hey. Um, what happens in this episode? I'm failing in Sweeney's class. I'm uh, failing in Miss N style. You're, you're trying class to have cause, a because homeboy is smitten. I'm smitten. You're She's smitten teaching me Spanish with the beauty of of the foreign language teacher. For sure. Uh, and Moses' favorite math teacher is replaced by a student teacher, Mr. Mr. Dren, Dren, Dren. Dren mm-hmm. uh, who's having a trouble. Uh, Dealing with the unruly class who doesn't respect him. Yes, but you respect but, him because yeah, your teacher's pet. Yeah, and I pet. make a I make a plan to you know get him respect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. Well, right off the top, the, let me look up. I think his name was his name Charles. I mean, oh yeah, right. His name was Charles. Right. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. So this actor who played Mr. Dren, I feel really bad. This was years after Ned's, mm. and I was a little high, and <laughs> we were. I was out with some friends at some event. And, and I, there was a lot of people and I was a little distracted and I like passed him, Charles, Mr. Dren, who I had worked with on Ned's, but it had been years since Ned's. Again, I was a little high. Um, and I, I couldn't place where I knew him from. I just thought I knew him from a different show. And he's like, I was on Ned's with you. And I, my heart shattered. I was like, I'm an asshole. I'm I, okay, but I feel so bad. You truly I, didn't have that. And Lost was one of him. our favorite shows. Right. No, no I barely yeah, worked. I, right. I didn't. He your was defense. your teacher. Exactly. I, I didn't work with him a lot. And that's what I mean. It like, I like saw him. I was like, I know, I know this man. And yep. then my head just filled in a different team. That show. happens. That, that does happen. Happens. I know, but I did feel awful. I was like, fuck. And he was kind of in passing. So as he said, like, it was Ned's, like, we were kind of already gone, and I still feel the shame of that. So, Charles, I'm sorry, man. Like, but I'm going to be great. really honest with you. Like, yeah. Wait, so you said, hey, I, you, I know you from Lost. <laughs> you guys, people do that to me it does all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, which ones do you get? You're Chrissy Carlson Romano, right? Oh, right? Yes. That, oh, Halloween the Town. The Halloween Town. Halloween yes. Town. Oh, yeah, I got yeah, yeah, Twilight yeah, yeah. back in the day when that oh, was, yeah, like, Chrissy really Stewart. around. Yeah, yeah. Um, Anybody but me. It happens. And a lot of, like, Disney Channel. Yeah. Yeah. I just anyway. I get Chris Tucker randomly. No, <laughs> like, I look nothing like You look guy. way beefier than CT. Beefier, right? Yeah. No, no, he's got a he's got a yoke these days. Uh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. He stopped being skinny. He he got <laughs> Oh, he, yeah. he got the fear of God. Yeah. <laughs> Charles Charles Chun. Awesome. I just wanted to make oh, sure yeah. I had his name. I want to respect so, you now, sir, cuz I was out a to little Charles. idiot. Shout out Charles. Also, Charles was hilarious in this episode mm-hmm. and great. nailed it. Yep. Like, yeah. Nailed the yep. scene where he has the to tone. yell at you. Nailed it. You guys being homies after. Yeah, that like, switch was great. Yeah, like yeah. Really great, nice. great actor. Also, another one of the, another one of these great adult actors like treating us so well on set. So honestly, when that happened when I was a teenager, I was like, I feel like a fucking asshole. Yeah. Sorry, Charles. Shout out. Love you. Yeah, yep. it happens. Um, it happens. Yeah. 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 So do you I'm get recognized as anyone? Just, oh, just Chris this, Tucker this, this, by Chris Tucker by, thing. by Foolish people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, foolish people. It, it depends, man. You know, I get Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. Oh, oh wow. All the what? general oh, wow. brothers. <laughs> just like, hey, you. I know I know a person that looks like it. Oh, God. Come on. Get out of here, man. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I definitely, at times, would get uh, Mitchell Musa. Oh, oh like, okay. Yeah, they'd be like, I love you on Hannah Montana. And I'm like, perfect. Yep. And Mitchell and I have known each other since pre-Neds, pre-Hannah Montana. Like, yeah. we knew each other at Oakwood when we were 12. So that always just made me laugh. I think he got me, too. Um. Yeah. yeah, he got me too. Yeah, I, yeah, he got. But um, yes, man. Um, yeah, that's that's fun. I don't know who I. I'm always surprised now. Like if people rec, I feel so much older and like. Bearded. Like how could you people know? Have, me? Recognize me, mask, sunglasses. That's what I wanted to ask. Yeah. A, a couple times with a mask on, someone's like, "Are you Ned?" And I'm like, "How? How? Yeah, I have a mask. How? How are you seeing? <laughs> people I'm, don't mistake you for Cookie, do they? Sometimes, <laughs> like, but with the beard, I'm like, it should be hard. It depends. Like, if I'm at some event where people are, that's different. Yeah, of course. No, yeah, where yeah, they yeah, yeah. different. Yeah, but I, I can usually go under the radar. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you, you you just like then I surprise them later. Yeah. yeah, you didn't even know you were. No, they're, they're, I, 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 I can cook it. <laughs> but yeah, I finally, I, I feel like I was waiting so long for my face to mature. Mm. Like, I feel like I had a baby. I still do in some ways, but like, I feel like I'm finally at an age where I'm like, wow, I think I'm actually an adult because like people aren't recognizing me as Ned often. Like there's people I'm around for a long time and it takes a while. Then they yeah. hear it from someone and they go, what? You're, and I'm like, oh, I finally am not a little baby face. Yeah. I'm finally not a little cherub. 
Yeah. It feels good. I will never so. get tired of hearing that um, I was people's first crush. <laughs> that it's is a nice thing. so flattering. I yeah. never it's give that. very often. And you get it from guys very, and very, girls. Very, very often, yes. Nice. I get it from guys and girls, Almost too. every, yeah. It's Almost nice. everyone who comments to me has that sweet You're thing to Everyone say. who's ever seen me just Just says, just says like, love. I just. They love me. Yeah. And are obsessed with <laughs> yeah. me. And are attracted to me. No, I awaken guys, people's sexuality. Enough. <laughs> No, but it, I, I'm like, that is like a flattering thing that will flatter me for the rest of time. Like, that is like, that's, that's, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To be on that list for people or whatever. Yeah. No, that actually is. Like, it's yeah. sweet. Even on TikTok, it happens now. Like, oh my God, you were my first crush. It's like, oh, 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 oh. little old me. <laughs> right? Okay. Tell me more. And then I we rewatched these episodes and I was like, she was cute. Okay. Hey. You were cute. I was crushing on you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I had all those sweet little outfits going on, keeping everything covered. You know? Yeah, was Did that you guys thing? know that I had that issue? What is that it? You had too much boob for too middle school. Too much boob for, for middle school. Yeah, cause, so, because. Daniel and I were the age we were on the show every season. Like when we were, yeah. when Ned and Mose and Cookie were in sixth grade, Daniel and I were in sixth grade. Yeah. You were in, I think you were two grades older than us, even though only a year and four months. Yes. You were in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. So you were more mature than your character. I didn't remember they had to like hide your boobs. I guess oh, I do remember yeah, from, that. Okay. So I was like, wow, Mose really loved like one of our first fittings with Alicia. Mose really loves the, the, the layering and, and the hoodie. And she's like, I was like, what? <laughs> and she was like, you know, you're a little more developed. And so, and man, hmm. they, they, I swear I have been fondled by, uh, oh, was like fondled the, by every, yeah, the costume, uh, yes, people, costumer, because women they trying constantly to had to re-put the, the top stick like right, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like yeah, cover. Most couldn't, and that's the thing we were talking about on other episodes is like, Ned's did have to be age appropriate. Right. It, it did have to be pure and innocent. Too many sweet yams. Too much sweet yams. You couldn't have those sweet yams showing. You know. Yeah. You and can it, have them. They just can't yeah. be showing that. It made me very like conscious of them in a negative way. Yeah. And so you didn't like the yams. You wanted fewer well, yams. yams. Yams booty, right? Yams was yeah, something. Yams, Let's talk sure. about well, what's our euphemism for boobies here. The yams would be the yams. What? I thought yams is, is booty. I think sweet Spend yams is all the way around. Oh yeah, yams is. A, I thought, be I thought I, yams was cheap. Yams is really the. Yeah, but, but just, you, it can be whatever what you want. What do we call? Yams. What do we call these? The um, ca cans. Cans. <laughs> Give me the cans. cans. Yeah, quick cans with a Z. <laughs> with a Z, turn up. <laughs> um, where were we? So it made you aware of <laughs> yeah. your cherries, a, your peaches, in a negative way, in a negative which is way. so funny because the next role that I played was this very like. A sex pot teenager on yeah. Aliens in America. Mm, that's and right. where my stuff was like, you know what I mean? Like out, nice. out and about. So they were trying to accentuate it in yes. that project. Yes. So you went from tucking it away, pure mm -hmm. innocent, yep. little baby child, yep. right to And I was like uncomfortable. Hollywood, I was like, oh, like they're looking. But And now that I look back, I wish I had just like enjoyed it more. Yeah. But of course <laughs> it's, it's not, it's hard. Of course, that's a real it unique a real... situation as a... Yeah, young person getting aware of your body, and then all of a sudden it's on camera, and adults are tucking yeah. it or accentuating it. Exactly, no, that's tucking weird. it. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, that's weird. That's tucking it was tough. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I'm I remember those days. <laughs> yeah, I remember having to take. Uh, did you ever have an erection and stand up in like class? Or anything? Does that ever happen? When a teacher's like, "Yo, you got to get up and present," and you're like, oh, <laughs> "No, nope. I don't want to get up." No, nope. happened to me off. Scott didn't give me a boner, man. <laughs> oh, Scott! Oh, you're talking about in school on set? No, yeah, actual school. Never. You never just when when you're like a kid, like first, yeah, when, when you're, you're getting first... erections that you can't control. <laughs> and it's I, like, I wait, what? What happening. is happening? First of all, yeah, that, and then, that happens. Yeah, to I don't dudes. want people to know this. Yeah, yeah for wait, a while, wait, for a while, you're did getting. Did that happen to either of you? Not in, on I set. Ned's. No, I don't remember. It I don't has remember on set happened to me on set. Yes. Did it happen in Ned's? In Ned's, yeah, for sure. <laughs> that was the first time I was getting erections, you know? And then it's the first time I'm just around, like, females often. Yeah, right. For sure, right, for sure. Right, for sure. right, right. Oh, my God, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I mean, Logan Browning played my girlfriend. Was, <laughs> right? Okay. So it was hard, you know, keeping myself composed. Dang. Yeah, yeah. yeah you were smitten, dude. I, yeah, you were smitten. I smitten. love smitten. Smitten. Logan, Logan Browning. Brown. Okay. You're beautiful. Yeah, but she was just such a great person. She really yeah, was. She, she was. She's a chill was. person. Yeah, yeah. chill yep. person. And also just like big, the cutest, beautiful green eyes. The like, cutest thing you've ever... You just get lost, dude. Dude, her, and she always gave me... um. 
another just great friend who's like a dog like i have to dap her up she just so such a g tristan may yes dude tristan is the shit yeah she's she's gorgeous but she's like the bro yo man. i hadn't seen her since ned's and then i'm doing this movie uh in 2016 i think uh called where's the money with uh king batch mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. like logan paul and shit and batch is friends with tristan so mm. she came to visit him and it was like, yo, lit. It was so good to see her. She is the homie. Yeah, and she was in love with you on the show, right? Or her character. Character was. Yeah. Her. She worked with me on Zeke and Luther once no too. No way. <laughs> yeah, I think she played Adam's like love interest. Or yeah, something she like that. played like some goth girl that was like obsessed with me and scary on Ned's like one episode. Yeah. But it was a trip to see each other as adults and be like, yo. What was the doing? line she had? Like some, she called you mop hit. Something like mob head or something. I got we we're not at that episode. We'll get to that. Yeah. that. I think that's like third season when she was on. Second or third. I don't think it's oh. first. So you had a crush on Logan. That's sweet. Oh yeah, for sure. She was awesome. Um, teachers. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I had a crush on Miss InStyle. So Cookie, if, if you haven't seen the yeah, episode, I mean, basically the episode was you getting an erection. Yeah, from Miss <laughs> InStyle, you know, and I'm just drooling in this bucket. Now I remember I actually had great. a teacher. Uh, I think this wasn't until second season, but it was similar. So Cookie was just infatuated with this woman, and he has a drool bug, and he's just, blah, 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 and that's why he's getting an F every um, every test he takes because he just cannot focus um, with her, and so he tries all these methods to not. Uh, what what was the tip you gave Cookie to avoid well, that? Well, we did different things. Was just like just focus on the work. Like basically, you failed at everything until the end of the episode, and then it was just like you got to transfer. You got to transfer. Like yeah. if you're distracted, just transfer out. Yeah. Um, you helped Mr. Dren get the responsibility and the respect of the class back. I like Ned's storyline in this. It was pretty funny. It's like he's trying all these things to get on Sweeney's good side to not fail. Oh, yeah. Uh, kissing his ass, you know, like dressing like him, all these things. And the end of the episode, it's like, Ned, have you ever just tried doing the work? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was and a I'm good like, one. Do the good work. One. Yep. Do, Do the work. work. <laughs> and yeah. it's just such a good, pure, real yeah. life tip is yeah. like, yeah, you can try all the tricks, but you could also just, just do it. Do it, yeah. Do the work, you won't fail. Um, you might not get an A, but you won't fail. This episode had another good line that I loved, and I think we would say it as an inside joke after this, was it was a Moe's line, I feel dirty just standing next to you. Because oh. I said, I'm gonna do something that's- Teacher's pet. I'm gonna do something that no one likes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna become the teacher's pet. And it's like, oh! <gasps> No one likes the teacher's pet. I feel dirty just, just standing next I, to you. I look so, like I'm about to break on the last part of that, so I feel like that know, was something it. funny that we could not like. Yeah, well, because this is where your comedy started to come out more. Like you're again, you're so good at just being that like real grounded kind of straight man character. But then when you need to, like, you hit that line. You were also like covered in shit at the point, yeah. but like, but you just hit that. I feel. You're just standing, standing next, next to you. you. Like, you hit it. <gasps> yeah, it's funny. I shit. loved any time that, obviously, anything extracurricular was added to my face, spitball, like that pickle. Like, any time that oh, yeah. you got to, like, you know. Yeah. Be the, yeah. Be the mess. Yeah, be, be the, the mess. The kook. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. So that's really, funny, really fun. Um, but that's literally, there's another straightforward episode. Man. I think they're I all straightforward. Yeah, they're all, yeah, they're 11 minutes of um, action-packed middle school comedy. Right. Yeah. Back to your erections, Daniel. Um, yeah. My erections, yes. Straight up. Welcome yes. back to Ned's Declassified <laughs> Erection Survival Guide. Erection right, Survival right, Guide. Right Daniel yeah. Curtis right Lee. On. They're going to happen, all right? And you're not always going to survive that erection, okay? <laughs> wow. Um, it, have you guys ever just... Well, at school, you didn't really do the school thing, but did you? Yeah, no. I mean, I did Were you school. ever in love with, like, a teacher? Like, by any nah, chance? Nah, I never had a I had a only this a cousin. awesome teacher. <laughs> oh, well, well damn. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Nebraska. <laughs> no, but, like, you know what I mean? It, were you guys never just, like, mm, attracted to my cousin? No, that's... No. No, we can't do that on this podcast. Wow. <laughs> we can't even bring it up. Not a try. Like, when I was, like, you had a little nine flirtation. years old, okay, I was, like, okay. there was a little flirt scene. You're cute. And, like, I'm your cousin. What does that mean? <laughs> it's like, you're the first boy I've ever met yeah, in my life. Like, it yeah, like. and you're cute. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Kind of funny. Maybe It's kind so of funny. funny. Maybe it's yeah. not so funny. Absolutely not meant with I, anything <laughs> other than the innocent funny yeah, idea yeah, yeah, that yeah. that was. And no, there's a whole probably thing. No, there's a whole thing with with cousins um i watched a stand-up special from this this girl that my sister went to college with i think her name's delaney something she yeah. did this whole stand-up bit about i think that her 
her parents are cousins or someone in her family is like a cousin couple adults on top of the stand-up bit she did this like youtube kind of like funny weird exploration of like cousins who have gotten together and maybe they're like more removed than like first cousins right they're like more down the line but apparently there are some cousins out there who are just together man. i mean a lot of royal families kind of did that yeah right? is that the yeah, yeah but we're well that, this is way outside the monarchy say, Ain't this, royals is, just, here, this no. is just freedom baby dang mm -hmm. this is just freedom daniel you look disturbed i, 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 I feel like disturbed it. i mean it's very taboo in my mind it, it, it is it is that, just that it is okay that's the consensus that was Good. the whole exploration on so back to video. my erection my yeah. my your, okay to have your erection. cousin inspired erection no 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 this was a teacher Okay. Miss Miss Aga, she was my physics teacher. Oh, Ooh. first of all, I just loved that I had made it into physics. I think in was it sixth grade, seventh oh. grade, something like that. Oh, okay. okay. I, don't know. So I, I was Bring I was feeling like I'm out. good, and then I'm like, this is my reward. I got this beautiful Miss Aga or whatever. And um, I just remember she late with me. Yeah. Oh, I wish, I wish. No, she's married and has children now. She's a really great uh, woman. I really respect her. But um, but yeah, some of those, you were a young, some of those teachers. Hormonal. Yeah, and I was just like, every time I went to her class, I'm like, let me rush to sit down because the, the erections <laughs> calling my name before oh my I even God. get to class. Oh <laughs> Whenever we have to present a project, sometimes I'm like, hey, I cannot, I'm not, I will not do that. I'm not going to stand up. Oh no. no. Can't stand up. No. Dude, this time of life is so, I mean, I think that's why Ned's means so much to so much people is it was like this innocent entertainment that spoke to people through this awkward time. And obviously we didn't cover erections in Ned's, but like, this is the shit. This is a funny, weird, slightly innocent, but like this is the time where you start crossing the threshold with your yeah. hormones. Yeah. And yeah, as young boys, like once that testosterone stops pop, starts popping, like yeah. you can't control shit. You know, and you guys, you guys were like, touchy people like the, we the whole show kind of was like a touchy thing yeah. and you know we're doing like we hugged everybody kind of yeah yeah, meds, yeah we everybody and yeah certain times yeah, I'm no, just like, I, I, don't, I did eh, not get eh, a two arm eh. hug from you until recently hold on yeah i would hold on, give but, you the side but now one. it yeah. makes sense yeah he was trying to, to hug hide his erection without you touching yeah. his erection <laughs> Always, Daniel always, was a yeah. side hugger and Dang, a lean hugger. I was taking it all personal. Yeah, Daniel oh, was yeah. not about the touchy intimacy. Now I know why you were fucking yeah. a wreck. You were just <laughs> turned on by everything. <laughs> everything, anything moving. <laughs> Like, everything's a yam. Oh, no. Nox, you better stop shaking that little bird. Stop shaking that thing, man. Oh, oh my, my God. God bro. It's getting me excited. Oh, my yeah. God. Puberty. And puberty. Then, growing up in front of the TV. Yeah. So, so you were just getting erections all, all the time, and you still waited till 18 to have sex. God bless. Yeah, God bless, man. I was a repressed young youth. Wow. You know? No, well, dude. I think that's just, like, Yeah, responsible. religion will do that. It's like yeah, waiting until yeah. your parts are, like, fully developed because then you're just gonna embarrass yourself <laughs> oh my god you know Good what i times. mean you gotta have a i don't know <laughs> yeah yeah no i wasn't i wasn't i'm glad i'm glad i yeah. wasn't getting Good. erections you, you, on set e e erections only happen when you wanted them to is that like your i guess i don't remember a time but i erect on command the shame no yeah. no no <laughs> Yeah, no. I just don't remember them like popping up. I think said I was just I was focused. You know, You're focused? did you That's ever good. hit? Um, what about any of your professors? Did linguist? I ever hit any of my professors? No, yeah. hit <laughs> oh, oh, oh. any of your professors for In your college? linguistics degree? Yeah, what about them? Oh, did did I like them? Yeah, did you hit on them? Oh, oh, hit on them? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you like did I smash them? Yeah, did yeah. I hit them? Um, linguistics professors aren't the best looking, right? <laughs> people. Um. <laughs> No. Well, you know what? I, I this young lady, one of my teachers, um, she was she was like a, it was from Mandarin. I just did it as like a, I didn't need it, but uh, yeah, one of my Mandarin teachers was really cool. I think she was just exotic, mm. and, and and I don't know that 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 excites me a little bit. I like the, uh, mm. I like foreign languages and finding ways to commute. I mean, communicate, and it's almost like you know that uh, sexual tension and energy is a communication <laughs> in itself. You know? Oh, it's amazing. So you I, let your I enjoyed body that. Do that. Let your body do the talking. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I never mm -hmm. had attractions to teachers, but I was too young. Yeah. There yeah. weren't teachers to be attracted mm -mm. to. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Do you guys have memorable teachers? Like, mm. like, I definitely feel like, especially in public school, I mean, we already talked about Scott Plimpton, who was our legendary tutor on set, who was such a great educator. There are teachers mm. in my life. Yes. <laughs> who like just like left a mark like they were the, the the pure essence of what a good 
teacher to children is. They they actually are making sure to get you engaged. They're not just like speaking at you. They're really trying to get through to you. Um, I feel like I had a few, I had them, th I mean, throughout any public school era, I feel like often they were my like social studies teachers. I don't know why. It was mm. like the teachers who were teaching about like history and people who yeah. often were the ones who like got through in a really cool way. So I'm gonna put you teachers. on the spot. Oh yeah, teachers. <laughs> I'm gonna put you on the spot, Devin. Uh, so these teachers who meant so much to you, do you remember any of their names? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good, good. Miss, Miss Anderson. She oh, nice. was a memorable oh, one. He just made that I did not, I did not, I did not. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Not. What like, grade, what grade was this? Uh, that was like seventh <laughs> Mr. grade. Mr. Anderson. That, no, that was like seventh grade social studies. She was amazing. Seventh grade social studies. You mean mystery. At, at, at River Trail Middle School. Nice. River Trail. <laughs> he, made up, he made up the school too. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh God. Nope, River yes. Trail Middle School out there in Georgia. <laughs> nice, nice. We had cows outside a window. Oh, nice. Uh, and Miss Miss Anderson brought it. She brought it. She brought it to us. She brought the lessons to our souls, man. Right on. Yeah, Every school I went memorable. to starts with Saint. Oh, oh really? Yeah, you, yeah. Know, you did all the Catholic school, school yeah, All things. that Catholic stuff. All that good Catholic yeah, stuff. Yeah, I got it good. What are the best things about Catholic school? Was it the guilt or the shame? Um, the, <laughs> no, just the, just the level of, like, work. Like, when I came out here... From because I left in the middle of seventh grade, and what we were doing in Nebraska at seventh grade, and then what they were doing here at seventh grade was oh, you were further along, so drastically different. Yeah, mm. just like the curriculum was, and the teachers were just quality, dude. Yeah, mm. and and not only with what they could teach, just like with their essence. Yeah, you know that's what I'm talking yes. about. This and, thing, yeah, and it so matters. I got a lot like that. But Mrs. Magnuson, yeah, Mrs. Magnuson. Nice. You had it out for me in third grade. Oh, oh, oh Ms. Magnuson. And you hurt my feelings so oh. much. You were the only teacher that made me feel unsafe in a classroom. You were mean. That's all. Hope you no longer teach. And God rest you if that has happened. But I was going to say, mean, some of our teachers might not be alive. No, no, no. That's okay. That doesn't, that doesn't give you a pass. <laughs> Posthumous, like... Yeah. Uh, accountability. Accountability. Thank you. Yeah. And yeah. I just mean, okay, no, no, no. This, this, woman, <laughs> this woman terrorized me for saying, but. Like, that mm. was how, that, the, the kind of school that I went to. Like, but was a horrible. Yeah. Like, and then she literally reamed me out in the hallway. Me and my friend Sean Murphy, we were just always laughing, being stupid. And we were coloring in the scenery for the play. And like, I did the grass instead of this way, I did it this way. I said vertical. Do it vertical. She got so mad. Well, that is really dumb. What? Still. Grass doesn't grow. Grass doesn't grow. Grass doesn't grow. I mean, come on now. Wanna, we gotta You're draw the line idiot. somewhere. I just, I just, I mean, she, she terrorized me. Dang. I was just this student. I knew, yeah. No, that that is an awful thing that does. <laughs> no, that yeah. that does happen to kids. If a t like teachers wield power, and especially that young, if a teacher like shames She's the you first and person, makes you feel dumb, the first outside sticks. person in my life who told me to flat out shut up, and I was like, because oh. that's just not something that I I find that she to be said. The most offensive hold thing. on, shut up. Gla grass grows vertically, <laughs> you little idiot. <laughs> and, and when she talked to me in the hallway, it would be this close. Oh no! Like, oh no! She That's really I, I hate when people are trying to sell fear. It's like yeah. don't sell sell fear to me. Explain to me why your method is better than mine. Yes. And explain to me why, why are you upset and how is this? Yeah. Explain to me how is why I'm out of bounds. Exactly. Yeah, like, what yeah. am I doing? And be explain cordial it. about it. Keep yeah. don't don't come up on me all of my face. No, yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, no, no. Don't do that. No, that's the thing. Not everyone can wield power, man. No, it not corrupts well. people. Not everyone yeah. knows how to wield that responsibility. Because that's the thing. You have to strike a balance as a teacher of maintaining respect reprimanding people when you need to, but also these are children. You need to educate them. You need to help them going forward and just like yelling in your face. And it sucks Yikes. because I can understand where a teacher could get resentful and short and that consistent, you know, positive, good attitude and you're holding space for 30 people. Yes. yes. Plus another children. 30 who come into your class, like, like switching classes, yeah. plus the rest of your, you know, Life? student bot, like, yeah. So it's a lot. All right, Mrs. Magnuson, I'm sorry, but you really weren't in an environment like that. It was bomb where we lived. Yeah. Um, 
just had it maybe she was going some stuff in her personal life i gotta know. give it and know. i and yeah. i know but it just i will never never forget the impact that she made on my life because no. it was the first really negative school experience that i had Damn. and for real that shit can stick like you hear it from adults like oh a teacher told me i was dumb or like wasn't gonna go anywhere and it took me a long time to realize that wasn't like absolute truth mm -hmm. like people kids internal you internalize you mm -hmm. internalize that shit mm -hmm. if a teacher makes you straight up feel dumb or bad like yeah. you're gonna like take that hurt me yeah dang you know miss yeah. miss kogan that was my uh teacher i remember um she was like a history teacher and i really loved history at the time I, i'm not a big history buff now because there's so much you know fluff out there and everybody's trying to drive their own narrative yada yada but she was my history teacher at the time and uh this was while i was on neds i was in sixth grade and uh i was from mississippi and we had this thing where you address your like elders as sir and ma'am and for whatever reason she thought that me calling her ma'am was insinuating that she was like old or something like that and she was like don't call me that don't call me that and you're always just causing trouble and da -da -da. she just what? really Dang. blew up on me one day a lot at and, and, and you know i'm just like yo that that was is not... a sign of respect yeah i was just trying to respect you and she's like well don't talk back i'm telling you da -da -da. And I'm like, I'm just trying to explain to you what my actions were. And she just yelling, yelling, yelling. And I was like, you know what? F you. <laughs> and I flicked her off. And I was like a cult hero to, you know. No, Hell no. All the kids that, in my school. Oh, yeah. You were a bad boy cookie, dude. Is yeah, that when exactly. you got detention? Uh, you know what? That was an instance where I got detention. Yeah. I dig it. Did detention. you put on a Actually, did you put on a Daniel, like, Oh no, I should have. I should have. I can't imagine. Children, Kyle, children, do you know what I mean? Like, I know. I can't imagine. All that crap. I never know. I, I she was being unfair. No, she was being unfair, man. And I was like, you're you're and just, just mischaracterizing so me. Yeah. I did not appreciate that. I did not appreciate that at all. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Especially yeah. when I was showing her a sign of respect. Like if it was someone who was just, a teacher who just had it out for me, I would have felt the way. Dude, but I was ma'am like, is literally like a sign of politeness like it's a term of in, uh, it's like a term of reverence it's yeah it's an honorific an yeah. and then and then still just like doubling down on the on the like You're not even listen to pulling me. it back and yeah. being like i'm sorry or whatever yeah just yeah. doubling down and and you know what i mean she could have just explained it or at least heard me out yeah with what i was saying snipping like, at yeah. somebody but then continuing the snip is is different yeah no i didn't like that but yeah that was um yeah i was notorious for that i was a kid that flipped off miss kogan Wow. So you got some some middle school street cred. At that oh yeah, point. yeah, for sure. Cred wow, there. you were on TV. You were flicking off teachers, right? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know this side of you, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. You know, in and out, in and in. And you and didn't, out. and you still didn't make the hottie list. Still didn't make the hottie list. No, was not cool enough for the yeah hottie list. No. Wow. Damn. I can't believe that was a real thing. Like an actual hottie list. Yeah, I can't People either. That yeah. seems so like. Movie. movie no Seems but so I think movie time people perpetuating what they'd seen on movies i'm like the only reason they have one right oh, burn books the burn book right, from, right, 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 right. from mean girls yeah. yeah that's such a good movie plot but i, I never I saw a burn that. book no hmm. but i guess people then create it they're like <laughs> yeah no I, i've seen people write stuff on stalls sure. but it's usually the, the it's that quote some... like here i sit brokenhearted tried to shit but only farted and I think I've seen that on so many bathroom walls. I have never been graced with that. Yeah, ever. I don't think I've ever seen. You've that. never heard that? Never. Oh, it's great. All through the South, at least. No. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, yeah. I forget what it used to be. I don't. I, I don't really hold. Tried the, to shit, but it was only a fart. My... Yeah. Uh, here I sit, brokenhearted. Here tried sit, to shit, but broken, only farted. Here I sit, brokenhearted. Listen, I guys, I hate to get on <laughs> yeah. this topic again, um, but. Uh, uh -oh. Have you ever shit your pants as an adult? <laughs> dude! Yo, you guys, we have to hey. steer it away from it. I'm saying dude, like, I can't believe you'd ask something like that. Yeah, but, but you're also saying dude, saying, like, dude. you've been there. Hey, no, because when you asked about have I ever had mishaps in the bathroom, I've had some late arrivals to the, to the bathroom. Hold on, what's your a, plane's delayed. What's a delay? What's a delay? I mean, you just show up late and you got to deal with the consequences. And it seems like that, you know, it just wants to oh. jump right out right when you get into the door. You grab Wait. the keys. <laughs> just, I can just it's almost here. unbearable when you're trying to undo the door. You're like, yeah. I am. 
<laughs> surrounding so space much. and time right now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, oh my god. Like, yeah, time slows down. I can feel the universe expanding, but unfortunately, not my gut. Like, oh my god. Wow. <laughs> you try to time right, it out. I'm gonna tell you. Know? you all right, this is another just like traumatic thing that's like a bodily function that oh happened god. in a class with my math teacher. <laughs> okay. I got my period for the first time. Oh. Oh. Wait. Mom only gave me these really thin pads and it turns out I do have a heavy foot. <laughs> okay. Oh, it turns out. <laughs> and not that you'd think the first one would be like a little like Yeah, like a little like starter. A, does, yeah, like, a little shallow end. Strawberry <laughs> dropped into the deep. <laughs> <It's just laughs> Strawberry <laughs> So I literally <laughs> am armed with this piece of paper for my first period. Wow. And I get up before we even are out for lunch and I'm just feeling just like not okay down there. Dang. And I go in the bathroom and I'm like, ah, there is a fucking <laughs> Ooh. Ring of blood. Dang. Had to have my mom bring me some other yeah. pants. Was mortified at the time, but truly, yeah. I I have become such an advocate for periods. Like mm. they're one of the most cleansing, yeah. wonderful things in the Natural. world. Natural. Yeah. And Good free bleeding is like my favorite thing to do now. What so unfortunately I couldn't appreciate it. What is then. free bleeding? So mean? free bleeding means that you're either wearing some Thinks or something that where just, you can just nothing's inside. You're just letting it out. And then some out. people literally like take towels to work and stuff, and like put stuff in their thing and free bleed. You know what I mean? Wow. I don't do that. Wow. But um, isn't a towel the same as a pad though? At that point, like yes, a pad is technically yeah. No, but I, I I've had it. You're saying I've had it up. Not, Diaper not me up all day long. Pump. I do not care. Like only not when I have to. Well, there's like a bunch that. of toxicity coming. Yeah, out of and there's all these new. There are all these new methods, but like the free bleeding literally feels like you're like cleansing this whole area. Wow. I can't explain it. Wow. You know, like it feels lighter. Liberate when yourselves, it's done. ladies. It's 2022. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, natural. I mean, that was natural. definitely a thing that like, especially at, at middle school, like yeah. periods were such a shamed, like, yeah. ooh, yeah. don't, ooh, like, like boys are like, ooh, a tampon. Yeah. Ooh. And girls have to feel like all fucking weird about it. When again, yeah. this is something that's going to happen every fucking month, Love, every yeah. couple weeks. It's so and natural. You, I, Don't shame natural fucking things. I remember being so embarrassed. Like if you had to go to the bathroom, like you either had to make a, a habit of going to the bathroom with your purse, even when you didn't have your period, or people would know when you took your Ooh, purse to the to bathroom that you were going to do that. Or you, they made even tampons that are like this big. So you're just like, you'd like sneak it out. Like some sort of like, Thing that's and I get it. We're not just like, yeah, like it's not a tampon party, but it's also like not this ignorant. When I hear yeah. people who are so still grossed out, by, I'm just like, your I literally never you. want to look in your direction ever. You are so ignorant and just, yeah. you will never vibe with me on this planet ever hmm. if you can't appreciate a period. And I just get so annoyed. Yeah, I mean, it's like just, it's such again, a little, such a natural yeah. human. Ew. Thing. It's but like, it's us trying yeah. to mask the human, like we said in the yeah. other podcast. Exactly. Like trying to mask what is, what is natural. natural. Yeah. 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 I'm not for that. It's something we do or society has done and conditioning has done that as you age, like you have to come into look at what's natural about you. And like if you are holding a bunch of shame and guilt around that, like a pe around a period. Yeah. So every month you're setting up a cycle of shame, like around something yes. that you cannot stop and is actually good for you. Like, yes. Yeah, no, you got to no. kick, kick that habit yes. for sure. But it sucks but, that society. It, it makes me that, sad when I hear girls be like, oh, my period. Like everybody lament, uh, laments it as yes. this like this cross that we were. And I'm just like, I love it. It's exhilarating hmm. if you really tune into like, I know this is a lot, but like. The feeling and fl and process that's going on sure. within you, it's, it's, it's genius. It's amazing. Sure. And uh, yeah, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think the fact that we're more worried about how our clothes are going to look if we have to wear a different type of, like, you know yeah, what I mean? Sure. This happened to a girl in my middle school. She happened to be wearing all white at no. the time. Yep, got her first period. And I remember she like covered herself in some type of way. The teacher helped her like out quietly, but then we were all kind of confused at what happened. And then one of the kids like looked over and there was like blood like in no. the seat. And so she got so much shit for like doing some, like she had to call her mom to get clothes, right? Like oh all this gosh. shit, got all sorts of shame for this thing. That's like, oh no. Dang.
That's no. weird. How do we how do we get society to move past this um erroneous kind of judgment? I know? would like to think that more and more people are just kind of waking up to kind of natural things. Oh, letting like, people know about the free bleeding. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, I, think all yeah. The, I think all of that is expanding as we as I mean, here's we the thing. People like I said on. about the Me Too movement a little bit back, and I literally don't mean anything divisive like against that. This, it's just my opinion. But women also have to take back periods for themselves. Do you get yeah. what I mean? By like, you're exhibiting a shame that society has put on you, and yet those periods are going to bring you the very thing that's going to fulfill your life in like your 20s, right? The thing that you want so, so much mm. is like, you know, and it's, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it just hurts me that this literally sacred time, like it's some wild yeah. shit that goes Ties on. us to the lunar right? cycles, like yeah. all of this. And we want to detach ourselves and put ourselves on some grid, yeah. some man-made grid and yeah. calendar. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, I agree. So yeah. I, I think like just more as the female accepts this, like not this narrative of perfection anymore, which is like the, the, th the point I think we're like, moving towards at least here um yeah the more we all just embrace the feminine mother earth i think the better that understanding will just come i don't think it's about educating people about periods necessarily yeah, it's yeah. about educating people about so much more than periods yeah. just yeah, acceptance of natural processes natural and processes. Yeah. embracing them getting yeah. to know them yep. getting to know but, our own nature and we're losing the just this well i mean now i'm getting into self-sufficiency and this is a whole other thing but I mean, it just feels so strange that we as humans have chosen not to really adapt to nature in a way that is like holistic. Yeah. Right. We, we want to compartmentalize things and just build some infrastructure that is completely detached from nature. Yeah. I'm not saying be a nudist or some crap like that, yeah. but uh, I think we do have to rethink these um norms that we've set up and they might not be as sustainable as we uh as we think for for sure i mean side society has like abstracted itself away from nature and tried to like conquer nature and there's Clean a bunch of systems dirty. that are removed from what are, our biology evolved in nature like our yeah. biology evolved in it working with it doing it like when i go like camping even and i like cook over a fire something in me feels good and natural and primal it takes way longer it's way harder you put way much way more uh, effort into it but then it feels better to eat it like oh yeah and yeah we're so far removed from any of that yeah shit. but naturally processing things like even just the fact that you can just go and buy a hamburger it's like yeah. but you couldn't kill a cow yourself yeah. you couldn't even tear through the hide no. probably no yeah no, and yeah. probably wouldn't want to, to be honest. Yeah. I, 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 I would eat berries for the rest of my life. I honestly, <laughs> I had to kill. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. It would be honestly. intense. It would hurt. So I guess it's on each individual person to like return as best you can to as much of your nature and like not hold shame for things like girls pooping. Like, right. it, like it's not, if it's natural, like fuck, man. Don't have a complex about it, an erotic thing that like you're wrong for just existing. Yeah. If it makes your life easier, I get it. But eh, if it's not, if I don't know if it's like birth. a thing where it like puts men and women on the same plane or just like you have, I don't know, really having to take in the feminine. I don't even know exactly what it is. Like, yeah, I guess just an ornament. Like that's, that's, and that's what women are like. I don't want to do that anymore. But it's really a complicated, even biological process that is slow. Growing up is a long so slow, slow but it goes so fast yeah and it's a process of like many different cycles and things come nothing's linear shit comes back around even us sitting here being back right. together right like, strange, yeah. strange man like it's a new cycle that's like coming back from the past and that is what happens in our lives you yeah. you come back to maybe a similar point but you're in a different place so yeah. things mm -hmm. things land differently mm -hmm. things play out differently you have a different perspective and yeah, man, I just like root for all of humanity to keep like it, it, being more holistic, integrating more parts of themselves, like yeah. all of more us. More sustainable man. products, more like, and then I look at my own waste and I'm just like, oh, it's all right here, girl. And what do you mean change the world? Change your own kitchen. Man. Oh, did you see the thing where the guy like, um, I, don't, I think he was like backpacking through somewhere, but um, he would like. Every piece or every 
item that he used, be it a uh, burger, a cup, whatever it was, he took that thing and he would attach it to himself. And before you know it, he's got all this stuff that shows what he was like interacting with our items that he took on uh, in the trash that he generated. Yeah, how much single use trash. He was covered in it and he's yeah. just waddling. In one day. Her, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah in one day, day I can fill up a fucking trash can. Like, it's crazy, yeah. man. And where does it all go? Some landfill somewhere. To somewhere I don't yeah. see but has to exist. Yeah. yeah. Come on, mushrooms. They said they found a mushroom that eats through non-biodegradable plastic. So if that can exist, But here's tight. the thing. Oh, never mind. Hmm? Sorry, the bacteria I was thinking about were flesh eating. Flesh eating. Oh, not oh. um, <laughs> not plastic eating? No. no. I, I mean, would, now that would help with the whole overpopulation. I would, right? I would, right? Prefer <laughs> no, it's because that it's because didn't no in exist. India, in <laughs> India or someplace, or in 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 Indonesia, some somewhere, they there were too many like dead bodies being thrown in the river. Oh yeah, and yeah. so they released a whole bunch of like. Oh, t- some kind of fish t- or something that were flesh eating, but obviously it didn't go well. Ne- oh, no. But that, 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 you could have seen that well. one, right? Have, that it's a movie plot, pretty obvious, right? Let's not put flesh eating yeah. bacteria yeah. in the river. Hundred percent. People bathe exist here. Yeah. for yeah. real. Yeah, um, I like that your solution to too much plastic in the world is to have people's skin be eaten off by bacteria. Yeah, <laughs> flesh eating bacteria. That's what we need. <laughs> that I sounds. Mean, hey. It's horrifying. Sounds the most sophisticated. It must be the right thing. Right? <laughs> yeah, it seems pretty easy to foresee like some of these solutions people come up with. Like, mm, maybe don't fuck with that. Yeah, Why can't not. we just like cremate all the trash? It, uh, have you heard of <laughs> greenhouse gases? Just a little bit at a time. <laughs> now it's raining. <laughs> now it's they raining. Do. No, there are places where they burn trash, but like <laughs> it's super toxic. So you have to have like you have to process the smoke then. And I mean, some people don't. They just burn. They just burn the shit. And it's uh, you know, it's another problem that we no. have. There's just no solution to anything. Well, everything, <laughs> everything is so connected. You try. You like. I mean, honestly, this is one of the hardest questions that you will have in your adult life is how can I solve this problem without creating more problems? Mm-hmm, mm. mm-hmm. I mean, this is all of our lives. I mean, I come up yeah. against it all the time. How can I solve this problem? You know, like you have to look into the future. Is this gonna create more problems? And oftentimes your solution is going to, because all of our lives are interconnected. It's yeah. really tricky to find solutions that don't create more problems down the line. Like it's a hard thing to do in life, mm-hmm. personally we, and on a big level. Humans are giant problem solvers, you know, but we also can be giant problem creators. Like yeah. It is the game we play, babies. I heard this really interesting thing. This woman was like, instead of phrasing it like, what do you stand for? Which automatically makes you just the the lead character and hero of your Mm. own journey. You have to be the most because you're crusading on this thing, which you stand for. More like, where do I fit and how can I show up, Mm. you know, and play my part? Which I think puts a little bit more power in your hands and a little bit less like outside of your control. You know what I mean? Hmm. I love that. I love that. Over the last few years of like so many issues coming to the forefront that are important, so many power dynamics that are fucking out of whack, everyone getting involved in shit, especially on social media, you can talk about anything, even if it doesn't do anything, you can you can mm-hmm. at least put your opinion out there. I definitely have started to realize some of that is like, hold on. I, we only have so much bandwidth as humans. You can mm-hmm. literally mm-hmm. only uh, hold emotion, care, for so much shit, mm-hmm. it's not unlimited. Mm-hmm. Yes, you have so yeah. much you can give your attention and your care to in your life. And like, I have really tried to, I care about the world, I try and stay educated on it, but I really try and know like, where do I fit? Where is my actual sphere of influence? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where, if I care about something, can I actually impact shit? And where am I just spinning on something that I can't control? Mm. Ooh, that's, yeah. Now, yeah. that's now giving me, Anxiety, Dude, creating yeah. another problem, stressing, creating more problems, getting yeah. me into shit that doesn't help it. Yeah, um, it's a really and then I thing. find that I start to argue just for argument's sake. I do a mm. lot, like just well because Double it's interesting and it's fun. Like I don't know. Then I'm just like I'm. It's more about being the lawyer and winning. The like this. Uh, I hate. Mm. I just hate our losses. I almost can't stand even watching like courtroom dramas. It's so. Stupid. Yeah. Where you're arguing a yeah. point just you're not just even arguing a point. You're, you're arguing around like yeah. yeah. It's just horrible the way people 
uh, what you can I don't know our minds it makes are powerful. me so upset it's all about what you focus yeah, on yeah exactly yeah, you like to do that and I like to do it too I like to do it with you is like there is a way where you can just like explore an issue without mm-hmm. having a bunch of stake in it however we, like you get to realize just cause you're like dancing in it unhear where you're like not being touched by it yeah someone is there, dealing someone with the repercussions is. someone's of dealing with where topic. it's actually way more in their life and personal i mean this is something yeah. we're all experiencing as humans right now it's yeah. like yeah. if it's outside your experience like yeah can you open up to what it might be like and yeah. realize like yeah you're able to like dance around and explore mm-hmm. the abstracts of an issue but like for someone else this might not be that yeah. this and the be world, very real the world them. is changing now like uh not mm-hmm. even just gen z but i mean it's with the internet I, i'm so happy that the internet exists because people can actually find resources how worthy all those resources are sure. i don't know yeah. and sometimes i find myself on tangents where i'm studying stuff that doesn't freaking matter to my life and i cannot impact you know any circumstance um but we're now talking about issues that face other people. And I think the world being more interconnected allows us to at least be conscious of other people's experiences. Mm-hmm. How, do, how do we wrap this one up? What's the, what's the close for this episode? What's the tip what's for the tip? this episode? Mm-hmm. Teachers don't yell at little baby students. Yeah. Um, you will find a lot of teachers in your life. Some of them will make you angry and some of them will make you smile. But both are equally as valuable. A good teacher means something to you throughout your life. Yeah, like that yep. that that impacts you. I don't know. Uh, what's another one? Choose thing? the teachers you want to focus on. Yeah, because life is full of teachers. Yep, there you go. Sure. Yep. Sure. Choose the I teachers like, you want to focus. I like on, that. Maybe, maybe, but also in, embrace your embrace what's natural. Oh yeah, yeah. That was kind of one of the points. Yeah. Screw Ladies, it. free bleed. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Honestly, free bleed. It's right. such a relief. Well, <laughs> you heard free it. Free bleed. Hey, thanks so much for watching this episode of the Nested Classified Pod. To get even more of our silly antics, go ahead and subscribe to our Patreon.